Hey everybody, thank you for joining us for another episode of Homegrown. I'm Steve Holland of Property Champions Real Estate and I'm joined by Anissa Smith. We are going to take a look inside of Time Youth Impact Center and find out more about all of the great community work they're doing here in Dothan. Anissa, what can you tell us? Well, we're going to be speaking to Mr. Nate Patterson today. He's going to give us some information on what they do here at the organization and how it's run. And they're also going to tell us what their future looks like here in Dothan. Awesome. Y'all, let's take a look inside. Hello, Anissa Smith of Property Champions Real Estate here. Today we are at Time Youth Inc. In, on the south side of Dothan with Mr. Nate Patterson. Yes. Do you mind just giving us a little bit of history of Time Youth and what got you started in this organization? Absolutely. Coming back to Dothan in 2015, my wife and I came back to start a small clothing store business here in the city of Dothan. But I also wanted to go back to my hometown, which is Montana Street here in Dothan, where I grew up as a son of a single parent mom who really raised me and, and tried to like do her best, but worked two jobs, so couldn't watch everything I was doing. So I was 10, 11, 12 years old out in the streets, kind of doing things I shouldn't have been doing at that age. Right. But moving forward, I wanted to go back and serve that same community. And uh, it started off with just having a basketball and I would go out and, and play with these kids I'll see out late at night. I you know, ask them what they're doing and how's their life going and, and just really building relationships with them. So it started off with maybe three or four boys that used to come out, then went from four boys to 20. Mm -hmm. Then a few girls start coming in. The next thing you know, we had 30 plus kids we would just spend time with. Mm -hmm. Whether it was at the library, we'll hang out at the park, of course at the uh, basketball courts, football field, where we can just interact and just show love to these kids. So we didn't know this would come about it. We just continued to be consistent with it, but we didn't have a facility. So my wife and I, we talked about it and we wanted to be more consistent with what we were doing. Also, uh, God was calling me to be a vessel. So it was a faith action that we had to take. So we opened this place up, not knowing where we were gonna go with it, just knowing that it was a need here in the city of Dothan. So we open it up, we do free programs for youth ages eight to 19. We don't charge anything for our program. They come in, we meet with the parents, they sign them up, and we just show the love of God here through um, serving, through loving, and through just reaching out. So it's fun. And then with our, um, our Teens to Work program, which is for 15 and 19 year olds, we help these kids find jobs. I know coming up when I was 15, 16, I wanted to have things in life, but sometimes the streets would call you to do things that you shouldn't be doing. We used to cut grass. We used to uh, find all kinds of ways to make some money, but we wanted to do the same thing here, but give these kids resources that they may not know. That hey, you can go over to Chick-fil-A, they're hiring right now, but you have to present yourself you know, at a certain level. We want to give them those resources so it won't be any excuses with our team and work program. And lastly, we do have an in-school mentoring program over at Dothan Preparatory Academy, mm -hmm. where it's about young men that want to be leaders in their school and their community. So we have about 20 young men from all different uh, race that, that's a part of that program. And wow. I think what you guys do is amazing. And I know you have mentioned that you guys are 100% donation based. Yes. So what can we as a community or as a small business or whoever just walk people off the street, what can we do to help you guys stay you know, in business and helping the community and these children? Yes, we always need um, volunteers. Mm -hmm. um, volunteers that can come in and spend time and love. And we ask that if you do want to volunteer that it's consistent because a lot of kids we deal with, they deal with a lot of abandonment because people may come in and, and come out. So if you can't be consistent, then we prefer you just may donate monetarily. We are 100% donation based, so we definitely need funding to keep the lights on and keep um, different programs coming for the, for the kids. Also, we have a dinner once a month with the parents. So oh, wow. we get the kids and the parents in once a month mm -hmm. and we ask the parents, hey, how can we help you? Or, how things are going in your life because we know when they go back home that's where the, the real relationship and, and part of their life is. Well that leads me into my next question because I think like I said what you guys do is amazing. Where do you see yourself in the next five to ten years? I know you mentioned you know it's getting a little crowded here yeah. you have you know your station set up but on a bigger vision legacy scale where do you see yourself in the years? Well to be honest with you we are believing this year that we would have a location that we could impact hundreds of kids. Wow. Right now, we, we have about 40 kids that attend our youth center, mm -hmm. and we got a wait list of about 40 plus kids that want to be here. Wow. But we're believing that this year, that we will be in a, a bigger location that's actually in this same neighborhood. That's and uh, we just gonna, you know, like I said, it's faith. You know, sometimes you just have to believe, even though you may not see it, 
you just have to believe in it. So we believe in this place, and also we're believing in um, a bigger location where we can make a, a greater impact. I love that. So you can find Time Youth Inc. here on South Oats in Dothan. And what are your hours, Mr. Nate? So right now we're at the school program. It's Monday through Wednesday from 3 to 6 p.m. And then we have our teen to work program, which is Monday through Friday from 3 to 6 p.m. And we have a, a youth ministry worship night that we do on every first Thursday from 5 to 7. And that's open to the public. Um, parents can come, kids can come. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter, our doors are open and we serve um, pizza. And we do live music and um, games and activities. And we just, like I said, this is a safe haven for the kids. So we just want to give them a place where they can feel safe, love, and grow. I love that, I love that. If you guys are interested in volunteering, donating, or even just learning more about them, you can find them on Facebook at Time Youth Inc. Dothan, and they do have a website. Yes, uh, www.timeyouthdothan.org. Okay, awesome. Well, we really appreciate you taking the time to sit down with us, and we look forward to seeing you guys as great. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Hey everybody, it's Stephen Holland with Property Champions Real Estate and I'm here joined by Mr. Nate Patterson and he's going to give us a little bit of a tour of Time Youth Dothan. You want to take us from there? Yeah, so they'll come in, they'll have to sign in and then also with, you know, with COVID protocols, make sure they come in with the hands clean. You know, hand sanitizer, sign in and then we'll have them, have them come in. Mm -hmm. They'll walk over. Now we do have a, a shoe drive that we do here. So say kids may come in with busted up shoes. We'll walk them over here, hey, you need a pair of shoes? They'll come find them a size, we'll let them take them home at the end of the day. My wife feed the kids daily, so when they come in, they get fed, we'll give them a meal, and then they'll have time to come in and play, just be free. Right. You know, coming out of school, we don't want to feel like they're back in school again. Right. So they'll come in and eat, uh, let them play games, hang out, socialize. We don't let the kids have cell phones while inside because we want them to get back to the actually playing together, talking together, Building social, building social as yeah. exactly because we know that cell phones and Instagram and Facebook is really taking over and it's taking away from the kids' social activity. But yeah, they can come in, man. Uh, one of our best games that's competitive is our Foursquare. My wife is big on journaling, yeah. so they have journal topics that we do every day. It can be about the community, it can be about school, it can be about peers. And also, of course, it can be about our faith. They get to take it home if they want to share it with their parents or they can share it here as a group. We have arts and crafts, board games. We love to be interactive, right? Everything we do here is interactive, whether it's playing a board game, whether it's painting, yeah. whether it's reading. Uh, we just want these kids to know that, hey, it's important for you to be interactive and feel like a family here. So we're big on just loving, serving, and growing. And that comes with just building relationships. Right. This is our small library area. We try to make it colorful and a little intimate. But we do encourage reading, so kids can come in and read three to four books and write a paragraph and we'll get them a trophy with their name on it as an incentive. Also, we're connected with the barbers here in the community where they can get a free haircut if they were to read a book while getting a haircut. Just kind of building confidence with reading out loud and reading in front of people that you don't even know. Just helping them with literacy at the end of the day. Now we're not a big place, we're not a big facility, but we use every inch. Like I said, we are faith driven. We're not ashamed to say that. Anybody is welcome here. We don't look at race. We don't look at color, age. You're welcome to come here. This is our little DJ set up. We play music, man. We have fun here. We want this place to be a free to just be yourself. Right. And as long as you respect us, Yep. We're going to have fun and respect you guys at the same time. And this is a zero bully tolerance zone. We know bullying is very really big in schools right now. So when they come here, we set the example and the tone right then and there that, hey, we don't allow that here. We will love you, but you will respect this place, respect each other, and we're going to have a good time. We have a computer lab. We have computers where they can come in and there's internet access. They can come in and do homework assignments. With our team to work program, they can come in and fill our applications, do resumes. We try to help them with that. Anyway, we can just get them access to internet because may, they may not have it at home. We've got slideshows and movies. Yep, yep, we watch movies here. We have movie nights, but we'll um, put it on the screen, get some popcorn. And then we have a worship night we do every first Thursday where we turn the light. If you see, it's lights, it's strobe lights, it's music. We have candy and we just do different games, but we do worship as well. And just have fun, man. It's free. Anybody's open to the club, they want to come in and just spend time. You got the arcade games over Yeah, got the old school arcade. So we got NBA Jam now. The kids that come in there, they really don't know about NBA Jam, but they love it. Pac-Man, they love it. The Simpsons, they love it. We just like want these kids to come in and feel safe, have a good time, learn, grow, build relationships, and understand that God is love. So that's what we do here. And you've got a beautiful place. I love what you're doing. 
We really look forward to supporting your vision and helping in this mission. Thank you for sharing your time and giving us a tour of this great place. Absolutely, man. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. And there you have it, folks. Hope you've enjoyed this episode of Homegrown and learning more about all of the wonderful people that are truly making a positive impact in our Dothan and Wiregrass communities. They really are making the world a better place. They are, and we thank you. If you guys are interested in volunteering or even making monetary donations, we'll make sure to leave the hours and contact information below, and you can always stop by and check out the worship place. Absolutely. <laughs> Hey, and make sure you hit that subscribe button here on our YouTube channel so that you can stay tuned for all of our future videos and find out more about living in Dothan and the Wiregrass area. Hey, until next time, y'all, have a good one.